when it comes to the spiritual journey, there is a great deal of, of, of profound trust that is involved that we cannot, that we cannot really explain. It's, uh, it's something that, that is not always, that, that, that derives from profound intuition, from, from, from profound response. However, because many teachers can be very charismatic, can have strong energy fields, can say very strong things, and and so on and so on, then, and so we might find ourselves responding to them very, very powerfully. But they may be uh, actually quite misleading. So, therefore, we, there, there are different ways to, to, to minimize the, the danger. One is to go for those who, who are clearly experts, which means that they have been for many years teachers and that have clearly demonstrated consistent knowledge in the fields that we are, that, uh, for which we seek advice. Second, we need to have the constant feeling that the teacher wants nothing from us. If the teacher, we have a strange feeling that the teacher wants something from us, recognition or, or, or respect or, or love or sex or, and so on and so on, that some, something, the teacher needs something from us, this is already pretty risky because it means that the advice will be twisted. So the teacher must ha need nothing from us, Sh should preferably be an expert and we should feel that, that, uh, that the advice given is, uh, is, is, is out, is from a state of, of love and care. Which means that, that we don't just get advice, like somebody throws on us advice, but, but we feel that, that we, we were carefully listened to and that there, there is great care about that because this minimizes the, the the risk of, of, of being misguided. So if there is love, if there is expertise, if there is, there is no need from the student, then, and of course, add to that a profound intuition, that should be good. Now, how do we then know that we are correctly guided? Then we, of course, we, we cannot know. The only thing we, we is, that is on our side is if we are feeling that following the advice has turned our life into hell, this is not good. Don't be blindly trusting. Do you understand? If you, if you suffer and suffer and suffer and you say, no, no, the teacher knows, the teacher knows, this is not good, okay? Therefore, it's okay that the, the road will be bumpy because a, a real teacher never uh, keeps you in your comfort zone. Otherwise, what's the point? You see, if, if he just tells you or he, she that tells you, just enjoy and have fun and be as you are, then <laughs> haven't I come to, to transform, to be liberated, to realize something? The Katha Upanishad speaks of uh, self-restraint and control of the sense, you know, all that. There has to be some going against your habits. So a teacher must be a little bit uncomfortable. So this is why the road will be bumpy. Don't think if it's a little bit uncomfortable or if something is, is difficult, then this is wrong. But... So, but if it, it becomes really difficult in a way that, that, is, that, that, that you feel that you, are, that you are deeply unhappy, 
that you have lost your spirit, this is, this is surely wrong. Re remember, a teaching should ultimately lead us to a greater sense of wholeness, a greater sense of peace, a greater sense of understanding, a greater sense of emotional maturity. So if we notice that we have all that and we have developed that, without a question, you are in the right place. Do, do you understand? If you look one year back and you say, have I, without self-judgment, because you know how it is, because we always look at what we haven't accomplished. So, so if you look back and you ask yourself, in the last year, have, have I grown? Have I become more mature, more complete, more serene, more capable of facing challenges, and so on and so on? If you, the answer is generally yes, you are doing the right, you are guided well. You see? So this is, if you are stuck completely, you feel like, like, like your life is hell, and, and you feel unhappy, you are, you are com surely misguided. Or you haven't followed any of the teacher's words, <laughs> and now you're just blaming the teacher for your state, because this happens sometimes. Have you meditated as, as we discussed? No. Have you inquired? No. Right? So then, then to come and to tell the teacher nothing has worked, that is, that is really unfair. <laughs>